Hello and welcome again to RC Model Reviews. I'm Bruce Simpson. I am your reviewer and today I want to take a look at Vireos. Vireos, here's one. There's a Vireo. And what is a Vireo? A lot of people are going to say, ooh, unless you're into gliding, you've probably got no clue. Well, a Vireo is a device for measuring variations in air pressure. And this is the new Vireo, the high precision Vireo from FreeSky. It is a tiny little thing, quite, as you can see, it's very slim and it doesn't weigh much at all either. Now, Inside here is a barometric sensor, which detects changes in air pressure. And the reason why that's important is because when, well, the reason you can use that information is because as you go up, as you get higher in altitude, the air gets thinner. There's less pressure associated with the air at higher altitudes. So this can work as an altitude meter, an altimeter, when it's connected up to one of the free sky telemetry receivers. Now this is the new X8R receiver that comes with the, or is designed for use with the Tyrannus. And it has a, um, what they call their, what do they call it? It's a something bus. It's a smart port. Smart port here. See? Smart port. So the smart port enables you to plug in sensors such as this new free sky. Now, don't really need these extra leads on here, but I'll show you what these are for later. But So this enables you to measure your altitude, but just as importantly, in fact, more importantly for some users, like people who like to fly thermal soaring gliders, it enables you to determine whether your model is climbing or descending, which if you're looking for lift, it's really handy to know if you've actually hit some. So what happens is, let's turn all this on. There we go, a little light will flash shortly. And I turn on the Tyrannus here. Welcome to Tyrannus. Oh, there switch we go. Warning. Oh, switch warning. Okay. Right. Now, what I'm going to do is go. Oh, I've got this too close. I'll, I will go to the telemetry page. There we go. Telemetry page on the display. And you can see now that we have a figure here, which is supposedly the altitude. And if I go, if I lift this barometric sensor up, the altitude should increase. And if I take it down, the altitude should reduce. And in fact, hopefully that's what's happening, but it's because I can't see, because I'm looking from the wrong side of the camera here at the moment. But obviously, if you were flying your glider, you don't have to look at this number all the time. That's going to be, you lose sight of your plane. What you can do is turn on the Vireo noise. Okay, so I'm holding the Vireo in my hand, and even just talking is enough to create turbulence that causes it to beep. It's beeping when there's a change in air pressure. Now, the idea is if you have this in a model glider and the glider encounters lift, the glider will go up and this is what will happen. Did you hear it made a high pitched tone? And if the glider encounters sink and comes down, you get the low pressure. So there you go, basically the the system detects the change in air pressure and gives you an audio cue. Now, I'll just turn this off so it doesn't interrupt us. The change in air pressure is used to create an audio cue on the ground that the glider pilot can listen to. And so he can tell when he's flown into lift and when he's flown out into sink. So it's much easier to chase thermals. Now, the beauty of this little Vireo is it's so small because I can unplug these cables here and it's just this little bit here. But there's another useful feature. This will work with any of the telemetry enabled systems without a hub. Well, this is a hub. This is the little device that FreeSky designed to take a whole lot of different sensor inputs from various things. You've got, uh, in this case, we've got a GPS. You take a GPS input. You could put the Vireo input into here itself. There's an older Vireos that had to plug into the hub here. There's temperature sensor. Here's a temperature sensor here. So all these different inputs would plug into the hub, there we, into the hub, and then the hub through this lead would plug into the side of your telemetry enabled receiver. Now, all this meant extra bulk, extra weight, extra complexity. Now, the thing is, obviously, you weren't going to want to put this hub in your DLG. If you just wanted a Vireo, so you could have a discus launch glider, a little hand launch glider, and hunt out thermals and use the Vireo, then this hub, not practical, too big, too big and bulky, and also unwanted weight. So, with the new setup, of course, you don't need all that. Let me get all this out, laid out for you. All you need is a tangle of wires. The tangle of wires. Here we go. All you need is your receiver. It can be an XR8 or it can be one of these older receivers. This is the beauty of this little thing. And the Vireo unit itself and the lead that connects them. So there you go. That's all you needed. Much, much simpler. Now, the other benefit of this is that you can use this as a hub almost, because if you've got an older receiver here, you can plug these longer leads here into, this, into the telemetry ports, and then you can plug other devices into here, which have this 
new serial or the smart bus, smart port thing that FreeSky has. So it effectively updates all your telemetry topology by providing you with this new connectivity, which makes life simpler. It does away with the hub, so you can daisy chain all your different telemetry sensors. Brilliant, much, much better idea than this silly old hub thing that they started out with. So there you go, and this at the moment is the only one of the sensors they've got. Oh, I should tell you, I think the current sensor also has a, the ability to interface with a smart bus, I think, I'm not sure. But that's a little intro to Vario's. And in particular, the FreeSky Ultra High Resolution Vario, what do they call it, Variometer Sensor, it's the high precision one. So yeah, they're not that dear. If you fly gliders, you really can't be without one of these if you wanna make sure you hook every thermal. And now that you don't need a hub, Ah, it's also nice and light. It's going straight into my DLG because the spring's nearly here and I really want to get some DLG flying and this will make it so much easier because it also plugs into the very nice little four channel telemetry receiver that is very light and just nice for DLG. So yeah, it's going to be an exciting spring. I'll do some flight videos showing you how the Vario works with a model flying in thermal lift as soon as we get some. Any questions, comments on the video, as usual, thumbs up if you like it. Stay tuned, more videos coming from RC Model Reviews very soon.